Hello, this is Peter from astronomydrawings.com. Autumn is at outdoors, Sep, so I've decided to make a video about one of the most extraordinary, albeit rather difficult, objects of the autumn sky, NGC 7635, or the famous Bubble Nebula. Also, the autumn sky is full of hidden treasures, and one of them is undoubtedly NGC 7635, or better known as the Bubble Nebula. Discovered in 1787 by William Herschel, it resides in the northern regions of Cassiopeia, roughly six degrees north of CAF, Beta Cassiopeiae, and remarkably close to M52, even though appearances deceive, because M52 is about twice as close to us at 4,600 light-years. The Bubble Nebula is estimated to lie between seven and 10,000 light-years away. Still, if your telescope can render a field of view of, let's say, a degree and a half, you can fit both in the same field of view. It's not the easiest of objects, and you already need a decent telescope in order to glimpse it, or a big telescope if you want to see the famous bubble. A really dark sky and a UHC or O3 filter will certainly also help. The bubble is caused by the gigantic star in its centre. It was born only four million years ago from the big hydrogen cloud surrounding the bubble and contains a whopping 45 solar masses. It is so massive and hot that it's one of those rare O-class stars. Stars with a surface temperature well above 30,000 degrees Kelvin, which emit most of their radiation in the ultraviolet. This star, at magnitude 8.7, therefore appears much dimmer to us than it really is, because it emits 600,000 times more energy than our Sun. Now, imagine what such a fierce radiation does to the hydrogen cloud in which it was born. The gas cloud is literally blown away at an incredible speed of 2,000 kilometers a second, or 4 million miles per hour. It's blown up like a balloon and has now reached a diameter of seven light years. This is almost twice the distance from our Sun to Alpha Centauri. Big stars, however, don't live very long because their immense mass speeds up the nuclear fusion in their cores. Therefore, this star is expected to explode as a supernova or even hypernova already within the next 10 million years. That's it. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did, please subscribe to my channel. I'd very much appreciate it and see you next month for another video. Bye!